20 years on, 11,783 people. One device, one motive, one man. All I know is that one day my parents were alive and well and uh, the next, well, <laughs> they were dead, so... Devices used by Alastair at the time have been uncovered and the discoveries are grotesque. Documented evidence of what these trials involved reveal more than what was expected about the experimentation that killed thousands. You know, they died and life hasn't been the same since. I sort of remember is his name being mentioned over dinner. In an exclusive News Tonight interview, we sit down with Vivian Wood as she provides us with detailed insight of how the truth came to be how it is today and shares with us her intimate thoughts on how her parents were involved with the medical massacre. Maybe he had a guilty conscience from it all. I, I don't know, maybe he just got caught up in it and it, it sent him mad. I trust all of you who are aware of this mechanism that this device will be safely kept within the walls of this room. I will now demonstrate the insertion method on my subject. First, we begin by sterilizing the area. For this, we use swabs. This obviously cleanses the area. Um, I, I wish Alistair had lived and had been caught, ended up in prison where he, he belonged. The device will begin to adapt to the body. Its main functions are to increase life expectancy and to prevent any illnesses from invading the body. It is virtually pain-free, and as you would have seen from the procedure just now, it is fairly non-invasive. I need no nothing, nothing. The truth needs to come out. Tomorrow night, we look into the story of Alistair Barrett, the coroner who kept himself employed by sabotaging his own medical trials and committing mass murder amongst his subjects.